Day three hath arrived and we are approaching 5,000 to 12,000 subscriber territory. Today is June 26th and that means our channel is officially one year old and I cannot tell you how thankful I am for our little infinity. This has been a whirlwind of a year. I was looking back through my pictures and at the end of 2013 we had 275 subscribers and now as I'm filming this video we have 1,158 I believe and that is just so much growth and I have made so many friends and I am just so grateful for all of this. I cannot thank you enough. The first person I will mention in this video is Dylan from Dylan Books. Wow, he's Australian. There's another accent for you. Let's, let's look that up. Let's see. So I'm currently in the middle of a really bad reading slump. A really bad reading slump for me at least. Don't know how that went. That's sort of my Australian accent because it's kind of got that thing in it where it's like back there, but like not. I don't even know what I'm saying. So just go subscribe to Dylan because he does a better Australian accent than I do. Dylan is really funny. As I've said, for many of these booktubers, he reads a lot of contemporary, which I really like because I'm not huge in contemporary, but I think after seeing his reactions to a lot of these books, I should probably start reading more contemporary. Winger sounds really good, and me and Earl the Dying Girls being made into a movie. So I believe that should be a priority on my TBR list. Next we have Sophia from The Book Basement, who is honestly one of my favorite booktubers. She is up there with Christine from Paul and Bananas Books, not even kidding you. Her reviews are so eloquent and wonderful and she's so articulate when she's saying things. Her reviews are just so wonderful and I love them. The way she edits her videos is ador- she's just an adorable person and awesome and just like I can't even talk on how much I love her channel and her videos and just her in general. I can't even talk on it enough because I could go on forever about how many reasons I love her channel. So go subscribe to her. Yes, go. Oh, and she's also a member of Bookbusters. Yay! I get to hear her eloquent speaking in video form and I also get to hear it in live show form and you can also see it in live show form in our Miss Peregrine's live show on June 28th. <laughs> Next we have Megan Olivier, who has a really cool accent. I can't pinpoint whether or not it's Irish or UK when... She's also a filmmaker, which is insane. Her filmmaking channel, I'm not sure what it's called. She posts really awesome short films on there with great editing, and her videos just have great editing in general. Hey everyone, it's Megan Olivier. I think I did that right. I'm not sure. She's like another... It's not another, it's another. Like, I can't pinpoint where her accent's from. It's really cool. Now we have Shannon from Cozy Tea Reads. She just comes off as one of the most upbeat, awesome people. She just seems so nice. Now we have Joel from Joel Books, who may or may not be dating Whitney from Whitney Novels. In a live show, she voxed him and said, hey, will you be my boyfriend? And I don't know if it was a joke or if it's a thing. If it's a thing, I'll ship the thing. I can ship things. I ship lots of things. Joel started his booktube channel not so long ago and he already has like over 10,000 subscribers, which is crazy. I think it had something to do with his scary challenge called the Book Tower Challenge that I'll link down below. That hurts. It really hurts. How little time you have. Also posts really funny sketch videos. He did one recently called Unneeded Books where he talks about not wanting to get rid of books and I so agree. This whole bookshelf is almost filled and I couldn't fit all of the books and so I had to get rid of a few and it was like, ah, oh, this is a piece of me. I'm ripping off a piece of me. Lastly for this video, we have the second half of Wool, Miss Whitney from Whitney Novels. She is outright hysterical. I can never stop laughing while I watch her videos because just the comments she makes are ridiculously hilarious. In the beginnings of her videos, she used to do a pun and play the ukulele, but not really so much anymore. I wish she would get back into that because it's really funny. I really enjoy her reviews as well. She's very funny, but she also has very articulate reviews, which I love because there needs to be that balance of professional, but also funny. All of these booktubers links will be in the down bar, so go click on them and definitely go subscribe to them. I'm Maddie. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!